Muhammad Ali, who was brave. An icon for all of those who were committed to joining sports and social resistance. Sam Cooke was a visionary. Arguably the greatest singer this nation has seen besides Aretha Franklin. Malcolm X was courageous. One of the greatest freedom fighters in the 20th century. Spoke against white supremacy, social injustice, and economic inequality. Jim Brown is fearless. A remarkable figure who continues to intrigue the American imagination. to this whole situation. <laughs> I'm testing my memories. To think that all these years, people are interested in what happened way back then. Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome to the historic Campton Thank House. You. Thank <laughs> you. So happy to have you. It's good to be Come here. Come and visit with us. February 25th, 1964, it was a remarkable day. Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr was stepping into the ring with Sonny Liston. At 22 years old, he became the heavyweight champion of the world. And that night, he repaired to his hotel, the Hampton House, with uh, three other figures, Jim Brown, Sam Cooke, and Malcolm X. Jackie Robinson used its place. Martin Luther King Jr. was photographed in his swimming trucks in the swimming pool of Hampton House because there were not many places in Miami Beach that would accommodate black people. America racially in 1964 was embarrassing. Quality didn't count. Fairness didn't count. I was a good athlete. I got treated well as an individual. But all around me, black people were being discriminated against. That was the nature of the country at that particular time. We used to sit around the pool, but a whole lot of brothers didn't do a lot of swimming. I don't exactly remember when I met Ali, but it was before 64. Ali had a way of calling you out, reaching out to show friendship, always in a good mood. I remember the sound of his voice. Jim Brown, what's happening? <laughs> Muhammad, he said, let's go walking. Let's go over here and get in the pool. He had a great heart, and he always took time with people. When you talk about a Malcolm X, that's a historical figure. One of the most important exposure of, that I've had in my life. And you know, Sam Cooke was unique talent, but he had a consciousness that he wanted to make this a better world. So he joined the forces, he became an activist, and put his butt on the line. It's important to look at these men while they were icons, they're not immortals. And it was that moment in my mind that they were able to be men, brothers, able to have the opportunity to express their feelings without having to censor themselves in any way and be in a space that was safe. Well, well, 38. Wow, this is it. This is it. There he is. This does bring back memories. Being in this room sort of gets me into my <laughs> warrior suit. The struggle was so intense. If you didn't uh, watch out, you'd be contradicting yourself. You had to be very careful because there were white people that were very racist, but there were white people that risked their lives to bring about freedom, equality, and justice to us. Bottom line, in every conversation, it was being a man of freedom 
being a man, standing up, making this country give us what we deserve, to have equality, to be able to enjoy the same thing everybody else enjoys, to stick together and be a unit and be powerful as a unit. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. Boy, this is something. You look at the hairstyles. <laughs> look at the car. I think the pool looked better then, didn't it? Probably the last time I was in this room was the last time Malcolm was in this room. I didn't make a special effort. During that time, it was a room. And it served our purpose. Today, we're going to look back and appreciate those who made this room significant. I'm so happy that I was one of them. Muhammad Ali, Jim, and Sam, and Malcolm, they're just an example of how important it is for us to use our platforms to amplify voices that aren't able to be heard. That meeting looms large in the American racial imagination. Four black men, two of whom would be dead within a year, another one who would retire at the height of his career, another who would soon announce his conversion to a Muslim ideology as a marginal figure. They must come together to articulate their belief that black people are worthy of fighting for and that those who are the black fortunate must give their lives in service to their people. Age is a wonderful thing. We're all gonna get there, right? And it tests you in, in every way because it pits you against you. That fence I used to just run and jump over, can't do it no more. <laughs> Sometimes I forget my memory, I forget what I'm talking about. Once in a while that happens. And so that's the negative side. But the other side of the coin is that I represent now simplicity. I'm only here to make myself a better person and to help those who need help. Now I underline this point. When I say be a better person, I'm not just talking about me. <laughs> I'm looking at you too, <laughs> why not?